If you've recently set up a new LLC or plan on doing so soon, you've already realized how badly you're going to need funding to really kick things off right. Well, in this video, we're going to go over the best method to get that covered right from the jump. Hello again, I'm Zach Ritchie, and welcome back to the Fund and Grow channel, where we're all about helping you start and grow your business. Now, today, we're diving into how to build business credit for your new LLC step-by-step step, so you can get all the funding that your business needs. So first, let's look at what an LLC is and some of the benefits of setting your business up in this way for anyone on the fence about this type of entity. LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, and some benefits of doing this are personal asset protection from business liabilities, option to choose member-managed or manager-managed structure, pass-through taxation, which gives avoidance of double taxation, and profits passed through to owners' personal tax returns. It also has a simple filing process with fewer compliance requirements than most other entity types. Now, the first thing that you need to do to build business credit for your new LLC is set up an EIN, which stands for Employee Identification Number. Now, it's free to get one of those from the IRS website, which is irs.gov. Just go to the site and click on Apply for EIN, and you can do this entire thing online. Now, you're going to use this EIN in place of your social security number on business credit applications so that the accounts report to your business instead of your personal credit. Now, the second thing that you need to do is to make sure that this entity is registered with your Secretary of State. Now, you may have your LLC set up on the federal level, but in some cases, business owners who don't take the extra step to get it listed for the state that it exists in may lose their LLC by the next year's filing. So in that case, go back to the Secretary of State, get it reinstated so your LLC shows as active. No matter what state in the U.S. that you're in, make sure that you search for your business on the Secretary of State website. If your business shows as inactive or dissolved or something along those lines, you're probably not going to be able to build business credit for it right then and there. Lenders want to make sure that your business is actually active and that it's a genuine business before they give you any money. Next, you're going to want a professional email, website, phone number, and physical address. Now, these aren't required to build your business credit, but it typically is going to help to make the process run smoothly. Make sure your research domain availability before deciding on any kind of name. And once you find a name that has domain availability, you can then create a professional email address to go with it. You don't necessarily want to just use a Gmail or Yahoo in the email address because it doesn't look professional. Now, instead, let's say my business is called Zach cool stuff and my domain is zaxcoolstuff.com so the email could be info or support at zaxcoolstuff.com also having a physical address will help you look like an established business when you're applying for funding next you're going to go over to dun and bradstreet and set up your duns number duns is short for data universal numbering system and it's a unique nine digit number to identify your business in that system you could set that up at dnb.com now you're not required to have one to operate a business but you may be asked to provide this number when applying for a loan or applying for business credit or applying for corporate credit or bidding contracts. So it's better to just set it up now so that if you need it later on, you'll have it available. Now, once you have a DUNS number, you can technically start applying for corporate credit right away. We have an entire video on this channel about the differences between corporate credit and business credit and how to get corporate credit step by step. So I'm actually going to link that video for you guys to check out after this one in the description. Now, with all of this set up, you can officially start applying for business funding. Now, one of our personal favorite methods here at Fund and Grow is business credit cards. Now, why? Well, because it's perfect for newer LLCs as well as established businesses of all kinds. Business credit cards have 0% interest for up to 22 months, and they use stated income rather than asking for W-2s, tax returns, income verification, or any other documentation like that. Now, we never recommend inflating or lying about stated income, but it is based on what you believe that your income will be. Business credit also won't appear on your personal credit reports, even if they're personally guaranteed these accounts will not be on your credit. Instead, they're going to report to the three business credit bureaus, which are Equifax Business, Experian Business, and Dun & Bradstreet. Now, these accounts are going to help build your business credit and paydex scores to qualify for greater amounts of financing in the future. But even with business credit, you can access up to $250,000 fairly quickly, even with a new LLC. We actually have an entire training on how to apply for business credit cards strategically to aggregate that kind of money. And we go through how to scan through your information to get yourself set up for maximum approvals, how to set up your entity properly to make sure your business is as bankable as possible, how to use business credit for anything that your business needs, even if the things you need don't typically accept credit cards, and so much more. 
So if you're considering using business credit cards, I highly recommend checking out this training before you start applying. It's gonna give you all the info that you need to be successful with it. With that said, we've reached the end of this video on building business credit for your new LLC. As you continue to grow your business credit scores, you're gonna unlock even more funding opportunities for your business. And with the knowledge and tips that you get from this very video, you're gonna be well equipped to start that journey. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep seeing more content from us that helps you start and grow your business. As always, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I'm your host, Zach Ritchie, and I'll see you back here next week for a brand new video. Until then, bye-bye.